This AI image model just yeeted Flux 2 out of the spotlight. Meet Z Image Turbo, a model that's so fast, it feels like someone strapped a rocket engine to an API endpoint. It's tuned for photorealism, bilingual text, and thanks to its Apache 2.0 license, you can use it commercially without any legal pit stops. Today, we're taking this thing for a test drive to see if it really outruns Flux. And we'll share two ways to use Z Image Turbo completely free. This is the AI beat with AI agents A to Z. Lap one, we hit both models with a chaotic F1 scene. Lots of faces, motion blur, depth of field, and similar details. When you compare the two, Z Image Turbo nails the realism. The direction that spectators are facing, the setup of the stands, the smoke coming off the tires, overall aesthetic, definitely sharper. Lap two, here's our prompt for a car expo banner, testing text placement, indoor lighting, and glossy surfaces. Both models gave us the showroom, the text, and people in the background. Z Image Turbo stuck to the brief with the track ready race car, but Flux 2 went creative overachiever. The supercar with a spoiler and extra text on the banner, which we didn't ask for. As always, output quality depends on input quality, and Z Image Turbo shines when you feed it long, detailed prompts. Ready to experiment on your own by generating free images? Here's how. With this method, you'll spin up a serverless app on modal to run Z Image Turbo. Plug in the modal server URL into NAN and use the NAN workflow to generate images. First, the modal account. $30 of free credits each month. That's what you get when you create an account and add your credit card. Yes, you need to add a card, but it won't be charged unless you exceed $30. So be sure to watch your usage. Once you have an account, you'll need your modal server URL for the NAN workflow. Copy the Python file shared in the description to your desired folder. On Windows, you'll need to start WSL2 and navigate to that directory. Make sure you have Python 3 installed with virtual environment support. Type python3-mvm.vm or whatever your virtual environment name is. Now run source, and in your virtual environment, let's target slash bin slash activate. Now type pip install modal. This will install the package. Once it's done, type modal setup. This will open a browser tab, or if you're on Linux, it might give you a URL to put into the browser. Click authorize, and now you have an API token. Once your terminal shows that the token is verified, there's one last step. You could use modal deploy, then the Python file. This pushes your app to Modal's cloud for production. It goes idle when it's not in use, wakes up when you start making requests again, and you can close your terminal. Another option is to use Modal serve, then the Python file. This creates an image and deploys it to your space for development. Your app still runs on the cloud, but your terminal keeps the connection live. So if you make edits to the Python file, it redeploys automatically. Either way, you'll end up with this server URL. Copy it and NAN in the HTTP request node, paste it in as the URL. In the NAN workflow, you can edit the prompt, the width, the height, and steps. These will impact the image generation speed. Reducing steps makes it faster, increasing the image size makes it slower. The workflow makes the request, creates the image, and converts it to a file. And note, when you execute the workflow for the very first time, the execution can take longer as it needs to load the modal app into memory. Once that's done, the next generations will be faster. And here's our test image of a pirate cat. P.S. We also created this beauty, image generation using Z Image Turbo, ready to use as a sub workflow. If you're interested, grab it in our community or feel free to create your own. Using this method, it takes around eight seconds to generate a one megapixel image. And you can generate around 6,650 images per month. For comparison, using Z Image Turbo on Fall AI would cost you about $33 for the same amount of images. One more thing, the modal app is currently configured to go idle after a default time period. If you want to stop it manually, go to your terminal and press Ctrl C. Now for method two. Google Colab is a hosted Jupyter Notebook service that provides free access to computing resources. With this method, you can run the Z Image Turbo Jupyter Notebook within Google Colab. You'll need to upload the Jupyter Notebook, open it, and click Connect. Run the first block. Run the second block. And now the third block is where you generate your images. Edit the prompt and run it. The first run will take longer than the subsequent ones, around one minute or so to generate your image. You can see that for nine steps, one step takes about six seconds. And our pirate cat is here. To generate more images, just keep changing the prompt. 
Unlike with NAN, this method can't be automated, but it is free. To read more about CoLab Notebooks, check out the link in the description and use this while you can. More models are on the way, Z Image Base and Z Image Edit. And you know we'll be here the second they drop. If you're digging free image generation hacks, make sure to like and subscribe.